I'm Chef Say. One of the most memorable meals I have ever had was on the 4th of July in Normandy, my first trip to France. And I had a huge bowl of steaming fresh mussels with some really nice crusty French bread. It was such a great meal and I wanna show you how to do it. So let's head into the kitchen. I'll show you how it's done. When you get your mussels home, keep them in the refrigerator under a wet paper towel. This makes sure they're nice and fresh. Let's cook. Sometimes mussels can be notoriously gritty and sandy. So I wanna make sure when I'm ready to use them, I give them a good rinse. And this just makes sure any residual sand gets off. Now that these have been rinsed, we want to do something called debearding. Now, I know this sounds really funny, but it's really, really important. Take a look at this muscle right here. You see the little filaments that are coming off? This is called the beard. And let me tell you, when you bite down on that, it is inedible. So we're gonna take those off. And to do so, I'm just gonna take a paring knife here, and I'm gonna get my muscle in my hand, and I'm just gonna use the paring knife to pull that whole beard out. That's what we don't want in our food. Let's check the others. Now sometimes your fishmonger will actually do this for you and sometimes the mussels will be done by the processing company as well. Should I tap some together, honey, to... Uh... Yeah, what, what you do is you just... You so what my husband is showing here, just so you know, we're checking to see if the mussels are alive. So um, we're gonna take the mussel and pinch it a couple times and then just let it close up. If it closes up on its own, then the mussel is still alive. And if it doesn't, then it's a good idea to just discard it. We because don't want to eat fresh seafood. Right, freshness is key. And ah, then, there we go. We See how it closes? So We know good, that good one is go. still alive. Oh, let's take the beard off. Thanks, babe. Perfect. All right. Now, this is really important. This is my muscle pan, and I'm getting it nice and hot. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to create a lot of steam. So the mussels are going to go in, and then we're going to add just a little bit of white wine. And the lid goes on immediately after that. So watch how it's done. Mussels, directly in. Wine, directly in. Lid on, okay? Now, I know you're gonna be tempted, but do not remove this lid for five to six minutes. It's really important to keep the steam in so they cook quickly and evenly. Whoa, it smells just like the ocean. These guys are done, it's time to take them out. So I'm just gonna set them directly into the bowl. The reason I'm doing this is underneath is some of the best stuff ever, and that's the cooking liquid. This is the stuff that you wanna dip your crusty French bread in, and uh, definitely don't leave that behind. Wow, look how fantastic these look. Absolutely gorgeous. You want to make sure that you discard any that are not open because chances are those weren't alive when they went into the pot and, you know, I just wouldn't eat them. There we go. Now, take a look at the cooking liquid in here. Look how dirty that is. So I'm going to pour this into a tall vessel, let the sand settle, and then we can pour off the good liquid. Now that our cooking liquid has had time to stand, we're just gonna pour that off. And you might be able to see in the bottom there, there are all these little bits of sand. Be careful not to pour that off into your dish. So this goes just directly on top. And then I like to serve this with a little sprinkle of parsley, maybe some uh, fresh, crusty French bread. This is a great meal, very simple, very easy to make at home. So buy them fresh, cook them yourselves, Happy and healthy eating.